Drive carefully this Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I felt the power of television the day of the Kennedy assassination and after that, the Kennedy funeral. Because this was a country that was united in grief. And for all of us to watch that funeral gave us a chance to express our grief and to feel it, and we were united as a country. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. of President Kennedy's death, the nation gathered around the television set, united in grief, consoled and transfixed by unforgettable pictures. This is the strength of television news, pictures that move and move us with an immediacy unrivaled by radio and newspapers. Television news has exposed the process of history to ordinary citizens. Have you no sense of decency, sir, at long last? Have you left no sense of decency? And brought the struggle for decency and justice into our living room. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. It's shown us what divides people and what reunites them. It's treated us to great moments of pomp and circumstance. But it's also taught us that national destiny sometimes comes out of the barrel of a gun. Television news has transformed newscasters into celebrities and even cast them in supporting roles in the historical process. But don't push me, take your hands off of me unless you plan to arrest me. Perhaps nowhere is television's power more evident than its effect on politics. The question really is, which candidate and which party can meet the problems that the United States is going to face in the 60s? It's made the political and electoral process more accessible to all. The power of television can be used to make a politician. Pat doesn't have a mink coat, but she does have a respectable Republican cloth coat. To break him, you don't have Nixon to kick around anymore. And remake him. But it can't save him from himself. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Television news that reminds us of the realities here on Earth. That also captures the aspirations of humankind. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Big shadow. Engine arm off. 413 is in. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Yeah, I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Man on the moon. Boy. <laughs> You want to go to the moon? Do you want to go to the moon? <laughs> you want to go to the moon? You want to go to the moon, Miss Piggy? Bang! Zoom! Pow! Oh, <clears throat> hey there. Uh, I was just uh, practicing a couple of impressions. Uh, Jackie Gleason was truly one of television's great comedic actors. Let's have a little traveling music that <laughs> And though he was a man of many characters, he will always be remembered for his hard-headed, soft-hearted bus driver, Ralph Cramden, on The Honeymooners. I'm getting a job, and you're gonna do the housework. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, hey, Piggy. give me some rim light. Piggy. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, I'm getting ready to do my song. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, but, Piggy, you <laughs> can't do a song right now. Why not? Oh, because right now I've got to introduce the next clip of great television moments. No, but I am about to give you a great television moment now, live. Uh, Piggy, this part of the show is about singers who are legends. Yes, I know. Uh, well, you, you see, uh, I, I'm sorry, but you're, you're not on the list. Say what? You're, what? You weren't even in the balloting. What? not singing on this show, mm -hmm. I am never singing on any other television show as long as I live. Mm. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. Another great moment for television. Uh, uh, and now, here are some more great TV moments by the superstars of song. Oh, 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 oh. Be sure that your umbrella 
is up beside the down end. I'll trade them for a package of moonshine and flower. Moonshine. If you want the things you love, you must have showers. When you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you and me. The force of evil plans to make you its possession. And it will if we let it destroy Love and peace you treasure Then you hear me when I say That won't happen to us and we got no doubt Too deep in love and we got nowhere I think the message is clear This could be the year for the real fight No more will you cry Maybe I will hurt you never We started in this one He was the last big radio star to convert to television. Fortunately for all of us, nothing was lost and much was gained in the translation. While many of his compatriots in the land of comedy believed that broad was better, for Jack Benny, less was more. Come on, Jack, we better get started. Gracie is looking forward to this dinner and she's all dressed for the occasion. Oh, well, look, uh, George, I want to ask you, I hope, is she going to wear her mink coat? The well, of course. Well, I wish she wouldn't wear it in front of Mary when we go, because, I don't know, it always makes me look so cheap. Oh, you know? <laughs> That's just a rumor started by your publicity, man, because you didn't pay him. <laughs> oh, no. I always made him laugh. I, silly. We were sitting once at the table, and Jack just uh, looked at me, having uh, lunch at the Hillcrest Country Club. And Jack was sitting there and started to laugh. I said, what are you laughing at? I'm not saying anything. He says, yeah, but you're not saying it on purpose. Sasha. Will you open this bottle of champagne, please? Open it yourself. I'm sick of bubbles. <laughs> what made Jack Benny a success? He was a quiet guy. He, he fooled around with his hands. He touched his face. He folded his arms. He looked at them. And the audience would laugh and say, what the hell are you laughing at? I never criticized Jack's violin playing. He never criticized my singing. You play like me? I used to. <laughs> Pull around with me, sister. Is that your muscle, or are you still plugging jello? <laughs> Never mind the jokes. Just guess my age. You haven't paid me yet. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're 39. Yeah. Say, what made you say I was 39? Well, I've got your quarter. Let's both be happy. <laughs> In the history